Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and we are back in Rakatab, ready to continue our adventures with the people of Umbar. So let's talk to Ayalok here. What do you need? I wonder if you might help me. It is a delicate matter. My brother Sufan has been shaving down his coins, you see, giving the overseer less than her share. I told him not to, but he said he would never get caught. He started doing it for some of the other workers as well. Well, this morning I heard the rumor that the overseer caught onto these ruses, and now my brother has vanished. Even if he has run away, I just want to know he's alright. He may be a fool, but he is family. Go to our home and see if you can find any clue to where he went. Please, Beryathan, can you help me? And wh where is your home? I, I would appreciate an indication of where that is. One of these doors? Nope. Nope. On the other uh, side, maybe. Now, as far as I remember, it's not been that that long since I uh, did the previous episode. We had already completed all the quests that Nurut here had for us, and there are no more NPCs giving us quests on this portion of the map. Uh, we have Ayaluk, of course, but I don't know. I was under the impression that there would be more. That I would have unlocked a couple more quests today, but doesn't seem to be the case. That's a little bit weird. Uh, I mean, I've been I've been looking around, and I don't see any other quest rank for me. I did take a little detour to turn in some uh, tokens with a hardened traveler, but that's it. Oh, we can enter. Okay. What do we have here? It appears a pack was taken. What else can we find here? It appears that trail rations were taken. It appears an oil lantern was taken. Okay, so everything seems to indicate that this guy in here was able to escape before the overseer caught on to him. And I guess we can say he was lucky because we've seen this overseer it's not messing around. The people in here have to be wary of her. We too. But we are only passing by, so we're not going to stay for long. And it seems we are even uh, leaving town sooner than I thought, because I was certain I had unlocked at least two or three more quests. But it seems it's just this one. What is it that you want? He took enough to survive for some time out in the wild. There is a place we used to go as children. It is north, outside the fort here and then west, down toward the shoreline. He must have gone there. Please, see if he's well. Ayalak directed you to a location northwest along the shoreline. Northwest indeed. Well, uh, that gives us the time to collect some seashells. And now that I remember about those seashells, something else that we can also do is... Uh, I don't know if I want to do that, if I want to start a grinding dailies uh, right now, because we can go back to Yaxfanal, uh, pick up the daily for the crabs, and as we collect the seashells, we will also get the opportunity to fight some of those crabs. And uh, from what I understand, well, that's what everybody is doing right now to uh, farm the reputation, the gear, or whatever. But. Since right now we are just focusing on the story, it doesn't make a lot of sense to go back to Yax Funnel just for that one quest. And since we have not leveled any allegiance past level 5 either, and we don't have enough tokens anyway, there's not a lot of sense in, in going back to Yax Funnel right now. So I, I think we can take it, missing on, on, on one daily. Just for today, that's not gonna be the end of the world, by any means. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, bo oh. Lord of Coin, the old Peter dead. Ah, oh, Ayaluk's brother is dead by Overseer Ulanor's hand. Oh, boy. That's not looking well. Seashell. Okay, we gotta pick 12 of these. And the shoreline, as you have seen, is full of crops. The giant crop is here. The swarm of flies, because why not? Now, if I've been checking all this correctly, yeah, all these quests that we have are for level 147 so if we keep going as we have we will out level them again so i'm wondering should i equip the stone of the tortoise for a little bit until we get to another area where the quests would be level one in 48 please don't act around me thank you and i i normally would to stay on the level range of the quests because usually the level range of the quests is the same level range as the mobs you would find in the wild but we have seen we are already uh, finding enemies at level 149 even level 150 those level 150 guys were a big pain when we were at level 147 they were three levels above us uh, they were orange and those orange guys can pose a threat, but now that we're level 148, that we're only two levels to go for the level cap, we might be able to... Well, we might still struggle if we keep facing enemies a higher level than us, but maybe not as much. But as you have seen in here, this Nika Rika, for example, wouldn't give us any tokens of heroism right now and if we keep leveling up uh, we will keep uh, getting into that same spot where uh, more and more enemies would stop dropping the tokens for us and that's of course not what we want especially not now that um, I took the time to go back to the Hardened Traveler, turning the first two tiers of the tokens, and uh, I'm missing some to be able to complete tier 3. But we already know these guys will not help at all. So yeah, I think I'm not entirely sold on the idea, but I think it would be better if we do that. Oh, it's that? No, that's... That's just a random uh, building there on the horizon for, for world building, we can say. But no, no, not a location that we can reach yet. I don't think so. There were many places in Gondor, for example, that, that were also like this. Well, all throughout the world, really. But I, I do remember some in, in Gondor, especially in Ithilien. You would look to the south and you would see some Gondorian ruins. But those are ruins that you cannot reach. Uh, as I said, they're they're just for the world building. I, I also remember one in uh, Edit Luin before the Yandershire was introduced. You could also see some uh, uh, Dunedain ruins in the distance that were inaccessible until the Yandershire was introduced and, and those ruins were fully added to the map. There are a couple of quests in there and everything, so... Uh, yeah, I... I don't expect us to be able to, to reach those places. Now, trying to find a way back up that maybe will allow us to fight some of the coursers we need for the epic because we also need to go back to... Boy. We also need to go back uh, to the horns and, and the ends. Just remember we have another quest there as well. I'm 
mean, this location is marked, but I don't see any... Oh, okay. Some, some watchmen over there and over here, but that's it. Certainly not enough, I don't think so. We need to defeat 10 of these guys. We'd be lucky if we can find 4 or 5 in here. But as you see here, level 150 enemies are just yellow, so yeah, they might hit hard, a little bit harder than, than others, but it, it's way more manageable than when they were at, at 50. Okay, at, at orange level, I mean. This Goblin Courser will not help for the quest. This a fly swarm is a pain, it's just annoying, doesn't serve too much of a purpose now that we have completed that quest. And it's blue on top of that. It's not even useful for us to, to get the tokens, so I'm not gonna bother with that one. They have a very long aggro range. Oh, you know what? What I just realized? I'm not sure about a uh, Yid Fessy. I don't think we can enter back here because... Oh, we, we can. I don't know. I, I, I have the impression we maybe should have found a treasure cache in here. This seems like the, the sort of location that would have them. But not uh, detecting anything. Not all of them can be winners, right? But it feels so weird not not having one. I mean, I already expected. Uh, to struggle with, with the treasure caches in the Cape of Umbar because this map is way bigger than, than the Shield Isles. And there are no notorious locations that, that are immediately noticeable, like we had in the Shield Isles. So, of course, the, the treasure caches in, in the Cape of Umbar will be harder to find. And to be honest with you, Many of those caches in the in the shield aisles, I just stumbled upon them by pure luck. And uh, the one that I that I missed, I was in the right track. I, I I just missed it for a few meters, but I was I already knew the the spot where where I needed to look. But uh, in any case, I mean I'm I'm glad I was able to complete that deed, but I don't expect myself to to do that again. Especially not when we need to find like 20 of them now. That's too much. And I love exploring and, and looking for these things on my own, but <laughs> not that good. Oh, reach deposit. Let me see. Ah, yeah, I expected as much. I hope this deposit is worth it. I really do. I, I've been... As, I, as I've continued leveling, I've also continued uh, playing through the Elomens event. Because I have a many different ults I am taking through the event. That deposit was really not that good, but I digress. So... Uh, some alts I do plan on, on leveling to, to 150, so I am keeping some of the rewards for them. But some other low-level alts I don't see myself uh, getting to, to the level cap with them anytime soon. So I have funneled a lot of the resources to, to Beriathan. So I've gotten an, an extra... some extra tracery tokens, but also some extra crafting materials including a bunch of Red Sea Stones. That is exciting. Once again, I'm not entirely sure how crafting works now. I've seen the videos, but I find that very confusing. And I really need to uh, 
check that on my own to fully understand the, the crafting guilds and, and the Umbari crafting. But I expect we'll need a lot of uh, Red Sea Stones, so I'm glad I got a few of them from the Elomens event. Because every little bit helps, of course. And we'll see how that goes. Plus, uh, the extra, the, the few um, stones that we did find on our own before. Oh, that guy did give us a token. Cool. We just need five to complete the tier 3 task. So that looks fine. That looks great. Oh, there's, there's someone helping me here. Okay. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, you are a champion. Champions are really good, at least on landscape. I enjoy my champion a lot. And you are not using landscape difficulty. Please feel free to uh, jump in and, and take on, on these guys. And I, I, I'll be glad to help. But the least I need to do, the, the least of them I need to engage directly, the better. Really. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me saying that. But that is a... The, that's just the way the system works, right? If you don't have the, the landscape difficulty enabled, um, you, you hit no, as you normally would. The enemies don't hit as hard. And it doesn't matter if somebody else is engaging them with the landscape difficulty enabled. So it really works better. Situations like this, when you find somebody out there that is uh, questing alongside you, doesn't have the landscape difficulty enabled and can uh, lend you a big hand in here. I mean, you have seen already some NPCs hit harder than we do, for God's sake. Or at least it feels like they hit harder than we do. So, of course, uh, a playable character, it's gonna do so much damage, especially champs. I, I understand uh, the current state of meta, there are some classes that might be doing uh, some more DPS, or at least they were on the latter days, the, the, the end of the Gundabad expansion cycle. Like, I heard Guardians were doing an insane amount of DPS, and Captains were doing also really good after the revamp. And, and some champions were kind of concerned they would be left behind. But... I don't know, champions are still pretty strong. I imagine this is the creature we need to find. Wood Troll Herder defeated. Awesome, yeah, that was it. But we still need some, some extra sap, so there are still a few horns that we need to defeat. It seems, if I'm reading this correctly, that was the only wood troll in this area. I cannot tell you how glad am I about that, because you know I'm not a big fan of, of wood trolls. Trolls and goblins are really a pain in here. All right, we just need three more tokens. Two more tokens and two more files of sap, so we might be able to do these uh, two things at the same time. I would have expected uh, a treasure cache around here. That's the way these things usually work, right? The treasure cache is deep within the enemy layers. This may, might, might not be an enemy layer per se. That depends 
what's your stance on, on horns, but most of the times they seem to be treated as neutral enemies that uh, some I mean horns are, are just ends that are, are, are a little bit more trash so they would be treated as neutral and there are a few horns that uh, got bad on the core so to speak and don't hesitate on attacking the free peoples but that's not to say all horns are evil so that's what I mean when I say this might not be an enemy lair per se but it's close enough but yeah, it, it seems there is not a, a treasure cache in here. At, at least I didn't see it. Please. Perfect, there we go. With this we can go back. Um, we can come back to, to Rakathap, of course. We're gonna thank Ipsta for her help. <laughs> it was a big help. Uh, you, you saw on the last episode how how strong those horns were. And, and I mean, we can, we can defeat them on our own, of course, but the extra help, of course, comes really really handy uh, to speed things up and everything so yeah thank you thank you for your help and with this we can be on our merry way we still need to bring not not so merry way we still need to bring the sad news to Ayaluk in Rakatav about what happened to oh what the overseer did and this is not gonna I don't see this ending well, un unless we end up leading a, a revolt against the Overseer and overthrowing her, or, or something like that. Maybe handling the control of Rakatap to, to Nurod, uh, or something along those lines, but even even that wouldn't be a, what I would call a happy ending, it would be more of a bittersweet ending a, a more complex ending for sure but it's not what i would call a happy ending we'll see how that goes uh all right still we would still be back in racket up i i guess because yeah oh no was a Haradrim hunter. I, I didn't intend to find a Haradrim. I was just looking for Corsairs. Oh, come on. For the epic, because even if this is the end of the side quests in, in Rakatap and we are sent to our next stop in the Cape of Umbar, we still uh, need to advance the epic and it will most likely send us back here because we are still investigating a murder and uh, we cannot let that business unfinished leave that business unfinished so so yeah maybe we should have taken the time to to fight the coursers it's just that they are so far away really Beautiful, are they not? So many in the city desire things of beauty, but have no drive to do the menial tasks like collecting the items necessary to make their baubles. What fortune then there is in finding one such as yourself, willing to do anything for a bit of coin and recognition? Your payment. Yeah, I cannot be offended about that. that, that that's true. Especially about, I don't know, the recognition and the coin. Meaning the, the XP and the coin, the, the currency and everything. What news has come in with the tide? This sap is exactly what we need. You also are able to find an eliminated creature? Excellent. 
This will help to set the workers' minds at ease and likely improve their productivity. This is for your effort. Thank you. Oh, another one. Do you have need of something? Okay, the daily. We are gonna pick the daily, but don't expect us going back there anytime soon. Our ships will always have need for sap to patch the hole, and the fires here burn at all hours, so there is always a need for wood. If you can help with this, I will see that you are rewarded. Yeah, we might need to go back there at some point, or well, at least we can leave that quest in our in our log for when we start grinding the dailies. But uh, as we said before, not today. What do you need? Thank you for trying. The fool knew the risks. I warned him. Tears well in his eyes. I am going to build a cairn for my brother down at the shoreline. I will try to remember our days of happiness and laughter. Feel free to visit me there. Greetings. Friend, I have had a change of heart. The overseer here in Rakata brings too much harm. My brother should not have been killed. I have watched the comings and goings of individuals with whom the overseer meets, and I believe that there is some rot here that must be cut out. I intend to slip into her chambers, get whatever information I can, and report it to certain folk who can do something about it. I only require a distraction long enough to cover my efforts. Will you help me? Oh, you're playing with fire, but sure. We will wait for Ulanor to be on the long part of her walk. You distract the guard and I will slip in and out of her chambers to get the proof we need. Well, there we go. Whispers of the Forge. Oh, what a cool title that is. I mean, it's it's really a big tease. Stop to think about it. And this this gathering in here, what what is it about? Well, we don't know. Oh, we gotta keep moving. Oh. Ah, here is Aya, look. Okay, okay, okay. I only need you to distract the guard for a few moments while I search the office. Distract the guard however you can. Annoy them if you must. May wave by, hail them, clear your throat at them, anything to keep them occupied. At least two minutes? Oh boy. Wh where is the guard? Oh boy. Ah, this guard is the one that we gotta... Are you alright, citizen? Do you need assistance? Are you choking? Uh, yeah, a little. No, 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 no. Not gonna help me at all. Yeah, I gotta live, I know. Hail. Yes, citizen, what can can I do for you? Um I don't know, I mean Do you have any water in there? I'm I'm really thirsty. Um uh, no? Well, in that case I, I will see you later, I guess. Good day to you too, citizen. Um No please help me here. Two minutes. We gotta keep this guy distracted. Two minutes. Are you choking? Eh. Uh, yeah. Please, please come in here and help me. We're almost there, Garlic. Just, just uh, thirty seconds to go. As soon as this guy. Gives another step. We'll keep them rooted in there. What can I do for you? Stay there. Don't look back. And um, it's every everything's gonna be all right. Bye. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Um, wish you good luck in, in your job because I I think you're gonna need that after today. You distracted the guard and Ayaluk escaped. There he goes.
What I found is worse than I feared. I need some time to review this information. Meet me at my home. Now I must go. What did you find? Let's make haste and do not be seen. Yeah, whatever you say, but please tell me. Do tell me. I, I am so curious now. Yes. These notes are clear. The overseer is hiding something and we need to help of others if we are to expose it. What is it that you want? Each four months submitted reports of accidents, disappearances and deaths, requesting the effects of the victims to be returned to their families, yet none of the families were compensated. Go to the different masters in the fortress and explain everything to them and gain their pledge that the reports were accurate. I would go, but I know I am being watched. Sure. Uh, let me grab a picture of Ayala looking here because it's, this, this seems to be really important. The plot, uh, the plot thickens. So to speak, there's a conspiracy or some sort road. So gotta be very mindful of, of what we do. But I think I have an idea of where this is going. I, I don't know. We'll need to talk to the other four men and uh, and see if my feelings are correct. I don't know, I have an idea, I have a suspicion of where this is going. There is much to be done, and fewer hands by which to do it. Yes, I have submitted those reports to the Overseer. How were they never fulfilled? You have my pledge that I will bear witness. Arisha. Deliage, Uzo. I thought they were supposed to be here, right? That's where we left them the last episode, yeah. What news has come in with the tide? I must supply reports when they, they are there are incidents on site. How did you learn that nothing is being done about them? It does not matter. What matters is that you have my pledge. I will bear witness. Yeah, we already knew about this one. What news has come in with the tide? Most recently, I sent a request to have a pay sent to the family of a man who lost his arms in a terrible accident. He has not been seen since. I thought he simply returned home. I will stand witness to this. If the family was not recompensed and the man is missing, there is something terrible at work. Yeah, this is looking worse by the minute. We are gonna overthrow her by, by the looks of it. I guess that teach you not to cross dwarves in any way. There is much to be done. Of course I have sent requests on behalf of injured or slain workers. How is it that nothing has been done to help their families? I pledge to stand witness. There you go. I imagine uh, Ulanar is not going to be happy. Oh boy. What is it that you want? This is what we needed. Here, take these notes to the foreman and inform him there are witnesses who will pledge that these reports were never acted upon. Go quickly, I dare not leave for fear of retribution. Okay. One of these good old back and forth quests that we hadn't seen that much of in Umbar so far. It was just a matter of time for some of them to show up, I guess.
What is the foreman going to say, I wonder? What do you need? This is unconscionable. These lives have been damaged or lost. Their sacrifices were brushed away in the past, but the kindred of the coins pledged they would not allow such as this to happen here. This matter must be addressed. What is it that you want? We cannot allow this to continue. I will bring the matter to the master of the guard. Return to the young dwarf and tell him that we will seek justice. Ask that he meets us here so that we may go together to confront the overseer for his brother and the families of those that the overseer harmed with the, within this fortress. Okay, this seems to be the end of the Rakatap questline. Uh, a little bit shorter than I thought. What is the overseer doing? I hope we get an answer to that at least. We do need an answer for that. You find only a small pool of blood where I, I look should be. Not again. Not again. No. Boy, not again. No. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I guess you know what that means. We really should have should have told I look to stay close to us. We could have protected him. Hear me, friend. The master of the guard informed me that the overseer left her post and headed east toward the Corsair camp with a prisoner. It appears that Ayaluk's fear of being watched was correct. I can only hope that we can get to him in time. The master of the guard said he can spare none to pursue the overseer, but they will follow after you when he can. Make haste east towards the Corsair camp and track down the overseer. If you can, rescue the lad. Awesome. So, uh, my suspicions were kinda confirmed in, in the way of... Uh, Ulanor was definitely working with some of the enemies of the city. I was thinking the Hanadrim somehow, but but the Corsair, the Corsairs make more sense. Uh, so it, it's clear she wasn't uh, too keen on the idea of of the kindred of the coins taking control. Uh, she seems to be a supporter of the heirs of Castamir. And that's what we all look discovered. But now uh, we gotta go rescue him and we'll get the chance of going to the Corsair camp. And this will also allow us to fight the Corsairs we need to advance the epic. So in the end, both storylines converged just right on time. Uh, I'm glad to hear, glad to learn that we really didn't need to take any... Uh, awkward detours or, or anything like that to be able to advance this in a, in a natural flow. That's, that's good, that's good. And one of those courses we're about to fight has to drop the, the last token of heroism we need for the tier 3 task, right? One of them has to. So that means I, I would take a, a little break after today's episode to go back to the Horde and Travel one last time this week, turn in the last tier of the quest. I think. That will also allow me to uh, tear up my reputation uh, to the next year. That that's good. That's also uh, exciting. We'll see how it goes. Now we don't need to fight the, the few corsairs that we can find in here. That's not going to be necessary. And I also think we should be able to find 
Another treasure cache at the Corsair camp, that, that meets the criteria that we mentioned earlier today. How they are usually found on the deepest part of, of enemy camps, and it seems that's where we're headed now. Also gotta love the music here in Umbar, so... Exotic and intriguing. We're almost there. Picture of this one. And maybe this angle would work a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this 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 screams here of Castamir to me. Umbar can be a dangerous city, friend. Yeah, I was right. I will not stand idly by while Umbar withers from within. The heirs of Casimir were right. The old ways are best. We should return to them before we allow scoundrels who do not pay their debts to run our future, ruin our future. You fool. You and this meddlesome dwarf obstruct, obstruct me for the last time. Prepare to die. You forfeited your life the moment you work with this dwarf. I shall enjoy ex exacting the blood prize from you. You will writhe in agony before this is done. You can try. Most likely succeed. Jesus Christ, she hits like a truck. We do as well. Not as much as we as I would like, that's true. Ulanor yields as her guard arrives. You saved Dina, Luke. Thank you for rescuing me. I arrived as quickly as I could. I see you bested Ulanor. I will take her back to Umbar. She will be judging the pits, as is our custom. I'm finished. Let me pay my penance in the pit. We gotta go back to the foreman. But... Okay, it seems there's no Corsair camp, per se. But this is the region where we are most likely to find horses and, and we need to, to find what? Nine of them? God. Okay, there was one in here. Ah, the monkeys! Awesome. I mean, I, I had seen some <laughs> some pictures of these monkeys before, but it's uh, it's so so nice to find them. Wegmacher. All right. around this woods it seems a little bit more scattered than I would like but Blizz wouldn't need to run too far to find them oh, 
if any one of them would drop the token we need, it's just one token. One little token, please. Come on. It's just one token. One. One token. Really? Not a heart. One measly token. Tolkien, this... Can you believe it? Oh, okay. The Corsair Camp. That one's got to be the Corsair Camp. Yeah, the tents and everything, okay. Hope we have better luck. Can Scourge. A treasure cache will definitely be in here. Got a look. God's sake. Where's your captain? Oh. How glad am I that I didn't pull both guys at once. Treasure cache. Okay, wasn't that hard. Like. A pie. Token. This is getting ridiculous at this point. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I got all the Corsairs. And I still need... One token. I cannot believe it. This really is not what I had in mind. Jarath, of course there will be a quest in here to defeat this guy Jarath. Oh, of course our captain. Let me try and grab this chest before alerting him. You can also grab this other chest as well. Treasure cash, okay, I see it now. Two, yeah, just two out of 20. But okay, we're making progress. One of you, one of you has to give me the token. I refuse to leave until I get that token. Still have plenty of time to fight a few more coursers. One of you has to give me the token I want. Just one. Just one. Can't you feel the desperation in my voice? <laughs> Final 
Finally, the token. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Took your sweet time, but there we go. And... Now, let's go back to... to Rakata. Just two of them. This, is, of course, is not not looking good. But not gonna dwell on it. Say, wow. <laughs> this view of the shoreline, amazing. It's been a while since I took a shot like this one, right? A long time, but, but it was well worth it. This view really deserves to take. Uh, the time you take to appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, boy. Ah, now that I think of it, you know another reason why I also chose this teat? Because uh, on my Mariner, well, I have two Mariners, although I have not played any of them much, but my first Mariner is uh, High Elf. Uh, because, well, it, it seemed fitting, right? The, the class being based on it and, and, and everything. And um, with all the lore behind Yarendil and, and him being the brightest star for the elves and, and all that, the light of the Zero and, and and everything else, it seems really fitting to give a Mariner a, a steed that has stars in it. So basically, this is what my, my High Elf Mariner is, is rocking right now. The same outfit. Uh, the same die because it's the closest you can get to the steed of starlight and it seems it's it's it looks really well on high elves i gotta say but when i started playing my high elf mariner i i got this uh huge feeling that mariners even though they are based on high elves they they seem to fit better with the, the Gondorian uh, characters and, and the Numenorian uh, lore and not, not so much High Elf, so that's why I created my second Mariner, but I haven't had the chance to play him yet. Here we have Daximat. I think we have made life a little more safe in the book of Rakatabo. But something still bothers me. Something still bothers me about the murder of that aged man. Why would one of the coursers at Kent's Kurja commit such an act? It was a recent arrival to Ragatab, much like we are, and yet they did not depart their encampment to threaten us. Did he possess something they wanted? The guards took the victim's belongings away, and unless we hurry, they will put the evidence in a coffer within the keep. I have had an idea. I will go keep the guards occupied. You find the evidence coffer and retrieve the old man's belongings from it before they can finish bringing it into the keep. We may find a clue among them. Let us meet up on the beach to the southeast of the city after you are successful. Now you can investigate the evidence cover while Dax distracts the guards. Where exactly uh, are the guards keeping the cover? I don't know, but now that we are, uh, we have daylight, we can really appreciate this gathering here. It looks so much better, at least in my opinion. Both, both quests seem to be really close to each other anyway. It makes sense that, that the, the cover would be taken... Uh, ...to the performance evidence. Here we have Akini. Ah, oh, okay, that's one of the steeds from the pre-order. I see it now. With the, the hoops and everything. 
I would love to upgrade because I only have the base edition of the expansion, but I would love to get that seat and that uh, the the pre-order armor. And hopefully, if my financial situation improves in the coming months, I would be able to do that. But not yet. It's on the radar, but not yet. The guards informed me that that overseer was apprehended. You managed to also save the lad. We are indebted to your service, but this work is not yet done. What do you mean? What is it that you want? We should ensure that the young dwarf you rescued is well. There is little more that we can do to ease the pain that he surely feels, but the capture of the overseer should bring him some peace. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to check on with him. Check in with him, but... Ah, the evidence cover. Okay, okay. It's really close by. There we go. You retrieve the contents of the cover, but should not examine them here. Ah, yeah, here is Axama distracting the guard. We've done a lot of guard distracting today. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but but yeah. That that really doesn't speak too well of the guards in Rakatap. Greetings. Justice will be served. That the overseer will meet a fate she deserves must be enough to honor my brother's memory. For the future, I hope that those chosen to take the lead in our rebuilding efforts will exercise care and good dealing. I would rather see the light that dawns on our lands than to dwell upon the shadow that obscures our past. What do you need? I want to thank the foreman for his assistance. I know that my brother always held him in high regard and he was the only person in this encampment aside from you I felt I could trust. Can you tell him how grateful I am for the help he provided to us? Sure, I mean... So sorry I had to come to this, I really feel for you and your brother. I hope to meet you again under better circumstances some other day. So, at this rate, it seems we will need to wait until the next episode to find out what was inside the evidence cover. I really didn't expect there would be such a, a, a follow-up to to these other quests, I mean... I thought we were about to end it, but well, we, as you can see here, we have this epilogue of sorts, so... The foreman is not at his post. You hear a shout. To the new overseer! No, what now? What are, what are all of you doing? I, I swear to God, I cannot leave any of these people five minutes and they are already running into more trouble. God. Okay, no trouble. It was just a celebration, it seems. Yes. It appears that the news reached the ears of the kindred of the coins before we captured the Overseer. Words arrived with a contingent bearing Rathak's symbol and color. They took the Overseer away and departed. They have already set sail toward the city. It is likely to be a sentence to the pits for the Overseer. For me, as you can see, I am in a new arena of my own. I pledge my friend to do right by the workers here. I will see the work done and do my best to protect them all. Thank you deeply for your guiding hand in this difficult time. You have proven your worth to us, and that service is well remembered, Beryathan. What do you need? Great. We've heard troubling reports of an unnatural disease afflicting the people and beasts of Kuthra. Please go to the village, investigate the disease, and offer any aid you can. Awesome, so that is the end. Ah, a, oh, a prelude of sorts, awesome. So this, yes, this is the end of our time in Rakatab. As I said, way shorter than I thought it would be. And we are already on our way to our next destination, which is Kuthra. But before we do that, we would need to uh, talk to to uh, Daxamat. But 
Uh, before that happens, I will take the time, as I said before, to uh, pay a quick visit to the Hardened Traveler, complete the tier 3 of the task, improve my reputation, uh, get to the next standing and everything, and I will be back with you when that is done. For the time being, though, this has been all in today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.